In the 19th century, there was a baseball dynasty that won five championships in its first ten years of existence. Then in the first decade of the 20th century, it would set records that had never been equaled. Who was this powerhouse? The team was from Chicago. For the first 17 years, they were the Chicago White Stockings, and would change their name to the Colts, then the Orphans. It wasn't until 1901 that they became the Cubs. They played here, at Halstead and Congress, on Chicago's near west side, from 1885 to 1891. Led by player manager Cap Anson, and players like Billy Sunday and Marty Sullivan, they were National League champs the first two years at the new park. The place had its problems, though. It held only 10,000 people, and the park was shaped like a bathtub, with foul lines only 215 feet. It also shared space with a bicycle racing track that encircled the already crowded field. One initial note. On September 21, 1888, three White Stockings players were arrested for flirting with Mississippi Blood, the proprietor of a house just beyond the wall at the old West Side Park. What kind of house this was has never been clarified, but in Chicago at that time, vice was king. Then they had no real home for a couple of years, earning the name Orphans, before settling back to the west side in 1893 near Ashland and Congress, not very far from the old park. Here, they would develop some exciting new players, including the famed combo of Tinkers, Chance, and Evans. The Chicago Daily News decides to nickname this young team the Cubs. The name sticks, and in 1903, it becomes official. By the middle of the decade, they were a dynasty, at one point winning 538 games out of a possible 765. No team has ever done something like that. They were National League champs in 1906, 1907, 1908, and 1910, and the World Series champs in 1907 and 1908. In 1906, they won a record 116 games, but wound up being beaten by crosstown rivals, the Chicago White Sox, known as the Hitless Wonders. The Cubs would continue to play here until 1915 when they moved. They ended up on the north side at Wigham Park, which became Wrigley Field in 1925. And although there have been some World Series games played here, no World Series team has ever called Wrigley home.